I'm standing on the edge of the Great Rift Valley where humanity emerged millions of years ago. My name is Mark Kilberger with Dr. Tim Cook, one of the world's foremost longevity experts. We're in Kenya and East Africa, and we're going to understand migration and vitamin D levels. Mark, it's a really fascinating story that tells us how we end up with folks in temperate climates having very low vitamin D levels. If you happen to live in the equatorial zones, you're exposed to sunshine on a much higher basis all year round. And in fact, because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin that stores up, some of the genetic variations that lead folks to have a lower vitamin D, like a vitamin D receptor mutation that doesn't grab onto it as well, a reduction in the ability to convert D from sunshine, those genes then spread northwards and southwards into temperate climates and in those circumstances, when you have much less sunshine, have led people to have much lower vitamin D levels. This has had an adverse effect on our health. Wow, so where you live actually has a specific correlative effect of your vitamin D levels. The other thing that you need to understand is longevity medicine gives you time, biohacking gives you energy, and fulfillment gives you a reason to use both.